run done, shower done, and breakfast consumed, and I'm feeling good. It's just about 9 a.m. right now, so I managed to box off 13 kilometers in one hour and six minutes with an average pace of five minutes, eight kilometer, which is my zone two, which is basically 141 beats per minute, go away. My penultimate kilometer, I went really fast. So I did like easy run into a three minute, 34 kilometer. So that's quite good. Anyway, the entire run I was trying to nasal breathe. You probably saw I had one of those nasal straps on me that essentially opens up my airway so I can breathe better through my nose. And they say it gives you like a 20% increase in breath well, 20% better br uh, nasal breath, if that makes sense. But anyway, I've been speaking to a lot of people doing a little bit of research and finding out that nasal breathing is actually essentially better for you. They say in terms of facial shape, it can structure your jawline better. It can essentially, you get more capacity and oxygen out through your lungs because you're actually exhaling carbon dioxide. And when you breathe out through your mouth, it's not as good for you. You get more out from your nose and you get you can fill your lungs up more when you breathe in through your nose. So I'm trying to execute that better on my runs and hopefully I can take that into my races as well and only in the future do nasal breathing with no out breath on my mouth or in breath in my mouth. I'm on that verge of on my easy runs of being able to do it, but not when I push at 3.30 kilometers, I'm perfect. Oh, I also forgot to tell you, I'm in for the Cambridge Half Marathon. Now it's less than a month away, it's on March 3rd on Sun uh, Saturday March 3rd and I'm or is it Sunday uh, one of the days anyway I am super excited for it so running is going up and I'm going to try and hit a good good PB let's go One thing you probably don't know about me is I'm actually a personal stylist and I've been doing it for a while now and I basically have a few clients who I've taken around the streets shopping with them and elevating their style showing them what's new this season and trends to look forward look look into and how they should basically dress to their body shape and their personality and all sorts of things that make them feel confident in the clothes they're wearing now I really enjoy doing it and I do like different steps and different packages for certain people, but one of the ones I've just been doing for one of my clients called Johnny is essentially I gave him a complete, I had a consultation with him. I then put together like look a lookbook of 10 outfits for him, which I think will complement his personality, his uh, his weight, his height, his build and everything to make him feel more confident when he, when he dresses. We then did a complete wardrobe clear out we then bought a load of new nice clothes and had a really fun day out. Uh, he really enjoyed it and so did I. Anyway, the final bit is me putting together another kind of lookbook for him based on everything we bought um, so we can put together outfits. And my, my whole approach was to build a, um, a capsule wardrobe for him. So everything we purchase can essentially be bought together, which is amazing what you guys should be doing as well because when you go into a wardrobe, you don't want to go into it and be like, oh, I don't want to wear, I don't want to wear. Whereas actually it's, it's so good having that capsule wardrobe where you can just be like, bam, pull this out, pull this out, put it together. So this should be quite easy for me, but I'll show you kind of what I put together for him. So let's get into it.
shopping for yourself. I think one of the things I actually love most about personal styling is not just the fact that I get to help people feel more confident in their ability to walk down the street, but it actually gives me a completely fresh perspective on the fashion industry and what's happening right now. Because sometimes at the back of my head, I think, oh, this is where the trend is, this is where it's at. But actually, it's not until you actually go physically into the store and actually see what the brands are doing when you're a bit like, ah, this is maybe where the change in direction is going and the change of style is going. So. It, and especially when I'm doing this online, it gives me like another opportunity to see what sales are on. And when I type in something to Google, I'm like, damn, maybe I want that. <laughs> but no, no shopping for me. So what I've done here is I've basically categorized everything we bought. So I took a photo on Google from the website. I then cut it out in Photoshop to make it look a bit aesthetically pleasing and easier on the eye for him to see, because otherwise there'd be so many like different backgrounds from different brands, you know what I mean? And basically categorized them all here in Canva of like jeans, shirts, polos, shoes, coats, etc. And now what I'll do is I'll start putting the outfits together for him. So it gives him a visual kind of description. And yeah, he can work on something by putting all these together, but so far so good. So I've taken the 24 products that Johnny bought and I've managed to figure out 25 outfits for him. Now, if you ask me, I don't mean to be biased, but that is a stylish job, well done. Built him a capsule wardrobe and yeah, he's got looks where he can wear on any occasion, any day and pull it out of his wardrobe and won't have to really even think about what he's what he's what he's wearing because everything can go with everything now i think that is the key to building a wardrobe making sure everything can be worn with well mostly everything but yeah job well done anyway i'm absolutely starving so i'm gonna get macro friendly they've tailored it towards my nutrition and my goals and it tastes bloody lovely oh and this is chipotle spiced salmon charred corn tomato salsa brown rice with a lime wedge now i will do a live taste test if it's not too hot and if i don't burn my mouth off because i put far too much sriracha on but we'll go Hot. Insane. I remember the days at uni when I just used to eat chicken, rice and broccoli and it was like frozen chicken. This is so much better. Mm. Better. So me and Carmen went shopping at the weekend and we were shopping for new things like a new speaker for the, um, for the kitchen area. We also wanted some new curtains because we realized the color we currently have are just, oh, let's just say very dated, bit shocking and not that suitable for this room. So we decided to get some new ones and we just went for a simple gray. I mean, nothing exciting. This isn't our house. This is obviously rented. So we want to make sure the house is a little bit ours, but we also can't change too, too much. So we just got these ones from John Lewis. They are weave pale gray and they've got a textured finish to them. So much nicer than the, uh, the grubby ones we currently have, which are just this horrible blue. And they just don't go with like the peach or the kind of pinky tones we have here. So I think it would just be a lot nicer. And 
when they're up, it means we can like, have fun with like things like the flowers because at the moment we have some white rose, uh, yellow roses, and we also have like a colourful set of roses and flower set on the table, which I think I showed you at the beginning. But it doesn't really work with the blue, and the blue is the only thing in this room that just is off-putting. So I'm going to put them up now, and hopefully Karma will like them when she comes back from work. So let's go. They're even gone. Like the colours even changed. Good time to stick in my headphones and listen to my book. I'm currently listening to Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. I've got two hours left. This is the third time I've listened to it. It's, it's insane. Mm -hmm.